Children's Museum of Sonoma County and welcome to Art Adventures Alaska edition because I am here in Lake Clark National Park in Alaska. So a little bit far away from California, but happy to be here with you. Today we're gonna make something that is so cool and we're calling it a camera. It doesn't take pictures, but it is a little bit of how a camera works and it's kind of like a cool telescope so you can look through it and you'll be able to see images and they're gonna be reversed. And I'll explain later how that works. But first, let's take a look at what we need to make this. Okay, so you saw in our supplies, we have a paper towel roll, a little piece of cardboard, some tape, a pin. I have a safety pin, but you could use a thumbtack, um, a little piece of wax paper or tracing paper and a piece of black construction paper. So the first thing that we are going to do is take our paper towel roll and cut it in half. So it doesn't have to be exact. You can just kind of eyeball where you think the half is. And paper towel rolls should be able to just cut with scissors. So now I have two pieces. And then I'm gonna take my wax paper or tracing paper, put it over the end, and I want to have it be as flat as possible. So I want this part to be, it's a little windy. That's okay though. <laughs> so we want this part to be as flat as possible. So once I have it on, I'm going to use tape to tape it in place. best you can. Ta -da! And the next part we're going to do is make the pinhole. So to do that, you want to cut a circle that's the size of the paper towel roll. So to do that, we stick it on top, use our marker, push it down to hold it in place, and then trace around like so and you have a circle, you can use your scissors to cut it out. And then we're gonna use our pin. So I have a safety pin. A thumbtack would work really well. And we're gonna find the center and just carefully poke a hole through. And you can kind of move your pin around a little bit so that, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a ton of butterflies around me right now. I'm not sure what's going on, but we're having a little butterfly parade. It's pretty cool. So we make our little pin. You want it to be pretty small. Like you might not be able to see that, but there is a little pin on there. And then I'm gonna track down my other paper towel roll. Here it is. Cool. So I'm going to tape the pinhole to the other end of the paper towel roll. With my tape. So to do that, I like to put it on the side here with the pinhole part on top, and then I can push the tape. This is a little bit tricky, but you push the tape on top to kind of stick it in place. Okay, so this is going to be what allows light to come in. So the next thing I'm gonna do is tape these two together. So I'm gonna have my pinhole at the end and then the wax paper is gonna go in the middle, okay? And if you cut this, it might be a little uneven, but it's okay. Because we're gonna use our black construction paper to wrap it around it to help keep out all the light. 
So this project's kind of cool because it actually works really, really well when you are in a dark place. So if you're in a dark room and then you turn on a lamp in the corner and look at the lamp, it's gonna work the best in that kind of setting. All right, so I've taped the two together. I have this open hole, which is what I look through. In the middle is the wax paper, and then at the end is a piece of cardboard that has a tiny little hole poked into it, okay? So I should be able to look through it now, and there's a lot of light that's coming in, I can see in the middle here. So what I wanna do is use my construction paper to block out the light. So I'm gonna use tape on the end of my paper to adhere it to the tube. And I'm just gonna roll the paper around. And that's gonna make sure that no light gets in. So I wanna tape around all the edges of the paper to make sure that it's as dark as I can possibly make it on the inside of the tube. And the other cool thing is, when you're done, you can decorate this and make it your very own and personalize it. There we go. That is pretty much it for our pinhole camera. Hmm, doesn't quite work. We need to go in the dark. So let's go in the art unit and we can check out how the pinhole camera works in the dark. Come on. So here's what's outside the art yard right now. Dylan's just laying in the sun. That's Dylan. And then if I hold the pinhole camera up, we're going to see the same thing, but it's upside down. So how is it working? Well, a pinhole camera is a natural optical phenomenon that's also called a camera obscura and its first recorded use was in China over 2,000 years ago. The way that it works is that light enters the dark tube, or you could also make a box through the small hole that we pricked with the safety pin. It creates an inverted and reversed image on the parchment paper that's in the center of our tube. If it was a real camera, we would be using film, but in our case, we're just looking at paper. It's inverted and reversed because the light travels in a straight line. When it passes through the pinhole, the light from the top of the scene travels in a straight line and ends up at the bottom. And the same happens for all the angles of the image. This is the same technology that early cameras used. So I hope you have fun making it and we'll see you next time. Bye.